Okay, so. Uh, things have been updating. Arrival. Confirm the Reaper invasion. Mm hmm. We'll go see the evidence. And while we're at it, might as well see what's going on here. Hello. Object Rome. Dr. Amanda Kansas' scientific team has catalogued three major discoveries on the artifact encased in the 157 Golgotha asteroid. First, a large artifact is rooted into the core of the asteroid and has a barrier that is similar to but much more powerful than a biotic stasis field. This gives it an unnatural resilience to alteration or damage and even prevents state-of-the-art laser drilling from extracting the smallest piece for analysis. Second. The object's interior is energetic, energetically, uh, energetically active with a quantum stasis field rivaling that of Prothean technology found in mass relays. Like those creations, it activates in response to threat, at which point the artifact consumes a phenomenal amount of power. Dr. Kenson's team believes the object draws this power directly from dark matter, though how is still unknown. The third discovery is that the object broadcasts signals and information on many, many different spectra. One such pulse, suspected to be similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, reaches into Reaper territory. Another broadcast is infrasound, consistent with frequencies that trigger feelings of awe and fear in humans, a known factor in Reaper indoctrination. Kenson's laboratory is filled with equipment dedicated to monitoring any signal coming from the artifact in hopes that some clue would prove the Reaper's undoing before it's too late. Quantum entanglement shit is fucking fascinating. And, um... That, yeah, that is, uh... Absolutely the stuff made of, of science fiction um, that, that we are studying in real life. Because it's the idea that, um, so you know how in quantum physics, like, uh, you can observe uh, a particle and it'll and it'll be a particle or a wave, but it'll be entirely depending on your moment of observation. Yeah. Because so te technically it exists in a state that's both. Um, so, like, that state, like, there's a whole other field of like quantum entanglement that basically is. In the in the dumbest possible understanding I can make I can make of it, uh, you can have two particle slash waves that are uh, considered like entangled, in that the state they're in when you observe one will guarantee the other was will always be in that state, okay, or something to that effect. In the dumbest way possible. And, and, and I assure you, this is a probable 60 to 70, maybe 80% massive misunderstanding of it. But the idea of it essentially is that, you you know, the state you confirm is the moment you observe. And something that is entangled with that one, even though you're not observing it, the moment you do, it will you will know for certain it is in that state. No matter where in the universe it might be. And so, if you can do that, then you can have information duplicated, or anything duplicated, as long as you can, let's say, uh, affix a property of entanglement to two specific areas. You know, and if you want to, you know, int like you, if you can control the entanglement property on multiple particles, you can create objects that are perfect duplications of each other with no delay between travel of information because it doesn't have to travel at the speed of light it's it's communicating on a in quantum entanglement level do you know what i mean it would be this is how we communicate with tim apparently yeah the uh oh didn't we i guess when we, i must have we talk, must have talked about this like i guess if that came up already because when i've heard i remember when i first heard about the subject it sounded so fucking interesting because it was like yeah it's no there's no message to be sent there's no trend there's no nothing has to go from one place to another it is already in the state that it is in and these two things will always be identical to each other you know super cool uh, so, we read about Planet Aratot. Did we? 
No, I don't think we did. I feel like it was not marked as new. It was not marked as new, I but I don't recognize did. this. Yeah. All right. Nothing is impossible, says the hegemony propaganda poster that depicts a muscular batarian, minor under Aratot, uh -huh. Sky, his rebreather held away from his face as if he's just taking it off. Oh, yeah. The image sums up millions of man hours of labor on the batarian planet um, and represents or misrepresents much of its history. Two decades ago, Aratot, like several uh, planets in the Skillian Verge, was claimed by both human and Batarian governments. But the Alliance backed out of backed out after learning about the atmosphere's dangerously low pressure and oxygen levels. Instead, they concentrated their colonial efforts on planets that could support human life without the aid of domed habitats and rebreathers. Human governments saw it as a wise move. Batarians saw it as cowardly. The Batarians rose to the colonization challenge, shipping in large numbers of laborers. They took the high financial costs and casualties due to the accidents or logistical snafus in stride. Large-scale dumping of cyanobacteria has increased the oxygen in the atmosphere by a fraction of 1%, a modest increase that the hegemony trumpets as a sign of their eventual victory. Short-term profits on Aratot are largely made in the mineral sector through mining the extremely metal-rich crust. The dark side uh, to the mining does not appear on the propaganda poster. The majority of laborers are indentured servants or slaves. Aratot is rumored to have military bases on its surface and throughout the solar system, its solar systems, through details, though details are heavily restricted, and the hegemony uh, by the hegemony's Ministry of Information Control, human merchant ships rarely come to the planet, outcompeted by local companies that benefit from heavy economic pr protections. The average Aratot citizen only sees humans on the news, usually featured in stories of trials and executions of accused spies. Fuck y'all cowards. We can breathe here. We yeah. can do it. All right, bitch, have it. Sure. We will. You okay? You you looking kind of blue. <laughs> I'm good. It's okay. It's fine. Cowards. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> you you best. <laughs> Run. <laughs> oh, man. Can you take this one too? Yeah, absolutely. The Alpha Relay. Discovering the Age of Mass Relay. Discovering the age of a mass relay is not an easy task. Relays can shield themselves to persevere their integrity down to the quantum level, so taking a sample for analysis proves nigh impossible. Relays also maintain self-cleaning cycles, wiping away potential evidence, though damage or dormancy can cause this cycle to break down, such as the case with this Sharon relay, uh, or Charon relay, which became covered in ice. Ah. The boatman of the dead. Self-cleaning, huh? Even without, uh... Damn, I, it's magic. Yeah. It's Prothean to, uh, uh, fucking Reaper tech. It's magic. A breakthrough was recently made by Dr. Amanda Kenson, who revisited the old methods of dating the relays by testing dust trapped within, uh, trapped in the gravity wells. By comparing the relative velocity of relays to that of the stars they orbit, as well as the composition of the dust around the dormant relays against the dust at known locations in their star systems, Kenson could create a timeline when the relay passed through the dust. The result dates the relay back millions of years. Some may even predate the Protheans. By comparing the relative velocity of the relays to that of the stars that they orbit, as well as the composition of the dust around the dormant relays against dust at known locations in their star systems. Okay. Right, okay. The Which dormant relay... Like through what kind of... Yeah, 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 the dormant the relay will have aged dust. So there's layers of dust. More than, than whatever else is around in the, in the present tense. And, um... Kind of like, uh, observing through bedrocks and different layers. Yeah, 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 sure. Sure. I mean, count the rings on a tree. Yep. Count the layers of ice. You know, do your, uh... 
well, carbon dating is outdated, but uh, whatever the newer version is called, I forget. Um, Kenson concluded that the oldest known relay is in the Batarian space, uh, dubbed Alpha. It resides near the star Bahak and is unusual in its potential range and versatility. Alpha usually sends and receives mass range, mass at the range of a normal secondary relay. But if certain controls are adjusted, it becomes powered up by an unprecedented amount of dark energy that could send cargo to 16 other relays and even across a great distance to the Citadel. Hegemony authorities have kept this quiet, fearing the retaliation from the Council species, who would assume hostile intent if they found a sudden new route into their space. It goes without saying that the Reapers have no such fear. Damn. Okay, so even down to the level of the closest relay to them that is not the Citadel backdoor being a part of the plan is considered as well because uh, this relay can do things that others can. Huh. Okay. So if you just blew up all the... Re well, okay. First of all, blowing up a relay means wiping out the system. So clearly... That's a no-go, unless it's an empty system, right? And you have to think the Reapers planned their 5D chess game in such a way where if you were to become wise to what was going on, you're too, again, you're too late, you're too dependent on it. Uh -huh. Let's say you stopped being dependent on it, right? Then societies have to get cut off from the relays. That would be pretty much a death sentence for a ton of them. But for the ones that wouldn't uh, go under immediately without outside resources, the idea that, like, okay, well, you can't just turn it off, right? Destroying it would then wipe out the entire system. So it's almost like a, yeah, it's a fail-safe against you sabotaging anything beyond their ability to, to salvage it. Huh. Powerful relays. That's fucked. Still want to stick just the tip <laughs> through it. <laughs> See what happens. Right as it becomes a supernova. Hello. Go through the door at the end of that corridor to your left. To the left, you said. Mm -hmm. What's on the right? Not just loud. Tricked him. Folks. So what would it take to get the project back up and running? Everything was in place when we were arrested. It wasn't a question of could we, but should we? What alternative do we have? The Reapers will reach this system regardless. But the Alpha Relay is their shortcut to the rest of the galaxy. If you want to keep the Reapers at bay, this Relay must be destroyed. Yeah, you're just buying time. But... Gotta buy time. Okay. Oh, glass floor. You ever been on one? Don't think so. Oh yeah, there was one in. I uh, want to say yes. But in Tokyo Tower, they had one, and it was proper, like look down, get vertigo kind of thing. Uh, or yeah, uh, you, you've you've been to the CN Tower? Never went in. Okay. <laughs> we have to get the project running again. It's probably the only chance we have. One sec. Let me get the door. Never been to the CN Tower because the CN Tower is the kind of thing that you go. What is there to do in Toronto? Visit the CN Tower. <laughs> you have the Reaper artifact just sitting here. Jesus Christ! In the open. When we found it, it showed me a vision of the Reaper's arrival. Kenson, this is not good. Okay. Give it a moment, Shepard. It'll give you the proof you need. Okay.
Oh my god, what? We've, we've done this already. We've done this dance. I can't let you start the project, Shepard. I can't let you stop the arrival. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's been indoctrinated. Wow. Suddenly. We've been spotted, have we? Alright, alright, alright. Right. So, um... What do we want to use here? Shotgun will definitely... Uh, help, and... Uh, yeah. No, like... I think it goes without saying, like... If you're, if so much of that sounded like, oh, we analyzed the data and drew our, our reasonable conclusions uh -huh. instead of like a vision was shown to me, which is what we did, but eh, eh. Oh, we're gonna need some shield. Yeah, I'm, I can't, like, it doesn't work sometimes, like, it's really weird. Oh, is this scripted? It was a scripted death. Never mind. Take it to the med bay and patch her up. We want Shepard alive. So that that guy I was the the, the enemy I was facing, I was mashing yeah, tackle the entire time. But it could be a glitch in the system. Like, it just doesn't work... ...weirdly. No glitch. The sedatives aren't working. SECURITY! Go with hands! The strongest weapons. Like, in a situation where you're surrounded like that, I, like, you gotta tackle your way out of it. Um, what do I have access to? Nothing. Alright. There was a mech to activate or something? Power junction. Oh, research log. The project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. The project is almost complete. I thought I'd feel a sense of accomplishment, but instead, I feel dread. I can't help but think we're doing something terrible. Step away from the terminal! Or what? Make violence. So, if that was what it seemed to be, which is the indoctrination method, I'm also resistant to it. 
Is that a matter of, like, being strong? Pre-indoctrinated with, uh, with, uh, uh, Prothean visions that puts the resistance in my body, you know? Or am I just that damn fucking sick? You can take syringe, down. syringe, oh, cradle, wall. Uh, wall. Fuck! Yeah. It's been a it's been a long time since I've done one of these. Give me a fucking minute. Syringe, wall, wall. Oh, there are less notes. Tradle. Uh, tradle. It's been a fucking month <laughs> since I've done one of these, dude. Max security in there. Try and stop us. Well, that's not good. Shepherds in the living quarters. Control. Stop Shepherds. No shields. Group in the same spot so it's easier to kill you all. Uh oh. Ragdoll. is way less effective on armor than it is on health. Understandable. Ezo.
more I'm convinced that the project must be stopped. We simply don't know enough about what the Reapers want. <laughs> it's foolish to assume that the Reapers mean doom for the galaxy. Legends say they've come through before, and yet life continues, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's just say that indoctrination is very effective and that you're not within your right mind. Interesting how, and then this, there was, this is not the only mission where, like, the main person was just one of the grunts on the ground and we just dealt with her like anybody else, yeah. you know? No fanfare to it. Play that clip back to her. Or just, you know, the video of the Citadel half exploded. Shepard's heading for project control. Get in there now. Crashed. Job. Are you just hiding over here? Ouch. Oh, that hurt. What the f What the Okay. I wonder if anybody surely someone stood around and watched this go down to zero. Right? If surely there's a video somewhere of that just going down to zero and then resetting to ninety nine. I think you get a game over animation. Oh, that's cool. And okay. it's like the visions from Mass Effect 1. Nice. <laughs> uh, idle for fucking that into It's a real countdown clock. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, so just before I pop that on, though, I just want to see where this leads to a locked door. Okay. Fair enough. What Jack's room should have been. Welcome to Project Control. I want to activate the project. Warning. Activating the project will result in an estimated 305,000 casualties. <sighs> Do you wish to continue? <sighs> yeah, back the fuck up and think about it. Okay, what was the exact number of Batarian versus other? Much lower. Fair enough, Shepard. Collision with mass relay is imminent. Begin evacuation. No choice to make. Do you warn them? Or do you just let it slide? It's not <laughs> Oh, it's not about whether you do it or not. 
because you know you have to do it. It's the Reapers. Do you warn the Vitarians or do you let them fucking roast? What was the number of other? Do you recall? I because I said 300k earlier, but I think I'm misremembering it. What was the population? I forget what was the exact. Okay, just type the planet name and type population into Google. Was it Ataros? Arat? Atarat? Aratot? Yeah, I think it was. Aratat? Aratat. Oh. Aratat. Damn. 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 Yeah. Let's just let's just see that number, so that we know, for sure, what we're doing here. You know. Three hundred thousand people. Okay. Classic tr space trolley problem. Yes. Oh, 90,000 free. 90,000 free. That's what I was looking for. 215,000 other. 215 other. Okay. Now, they did say that humans barely can handle it, right? So, does that other... Does that other imply, like, Batarians enslaving Batarians? That's not the way I took that, certainly. <laughs> not Batarian others, right? Is that what that means? I don't think it's been. Are there humans with rebreathers and, and shit, like, suffering down there? Or is it just a Batarians enslaving Batarians? It is Batarians enslaving Batarians. They do that? It's it, it dude! It's themselves on themselves. That is a population of. <laughs> Ayo, Joker! A shepherd to Normandy. Joker. Gotta go! I need to pick up now. Commander, we're getting a interference. We can't maintain the Shepard, no. Do you have any idea what you've done? You leave me no choice. If we can't stop this asteroid, it must be destroyed. Tell me where to find Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson is traveling to the reactor core module. An ESO core meltdown should do it. Because of you, everyone on this rock will be obliterated. This camera seems Not fucked if up. I get to you first. <sighs> oh, that wasn't her earlier. Okay. <laughs> I mean. You still looking down for those numbers? No, 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 I was just... How you doing? Checking out some, uh, some info. What's that info? Apparently, uh, even if you warn them... Uh-huh. Doesn't change much. Nothing changes they're, either way? They're just like, well, we're not leaving, and they... They just get scared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't try to stop me, Shepard. I have to do this. Stop now, Kenson. Hackett's friend or not, I will kill you. Ooh. You're forcing my hand, Shepard. You know that. There is no escape. There's no redemption for what you've done. I will die, never having seen the Reaper's blessings. And you will just die. Damn it, Kenson! Oh. Indoctrination, man. Shit's good. Nah, they should be running, Kenson.
Ooh, that's a lot of people. Wow. Cool attack, engineer. the reactor core. All automatic safety protocols have been overwritten. To stabilize the reactor core, manually insert cooling rod A from this control station. Manually insert cooling rod B from control station B. Oh boy. Doing so will stabilize the reactor core. Cooling rod A reinserted. Reactor cooling process has begun. They enslave themselves, dude. It's not even about, like, racial superiority. It's just about dominance. They do it for the love of the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. That's incredible. Someone's getting the chains. That reticle's pretty big for hip fire. Uh, hold on, that's just looking down, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. That was a door prompt, right? Is there a PDA somewhere? Is it in the next room? There it was again. Oh, it's the door prompt, door. yeah. There's a there's a PDA somewhere? Uh, maybe I maybe it was the door. I don't know. Yeah, probably the door. So the pyros explode when they die. Yes, that's 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 a thing. It's happened a couple times too. Far away! Shot it. Wow, cryo, these, yeah, the bullet add ons last a while. And it fires out like a shotgun. Hmm. This is Williams. I've got Shepard locked in the maintenance area. Requesting back. Down. 
Security log overwritten. Okay. Sometimes. I guess depending on the nature of how they die. Exploding versus a soft little... Oh, they last the entire level. Oh, okay. Well, shit. <laughs> I thought there was a, a battle timer. Hmm. If I did know that, I must have forgotten. Well... Oh no, it's their backpack that explodes. That's what that's what the, the deal is. Okay. Cool. Grenade! Fire in a hole! <laughs> I know that one. Uh... Well, that was weird. <laughs> Through the wall? Oh, oh, really? Through the wall. Wall hacking? Where's the Valve anti-cheat? Of course you're gonna win if you play like that. Get that ass banned. What life? Shields only. Nope. Oh, oh that one hurt. Whoa. Syringe, dreidel, dreidel. Wall, wall. Only three. No comedy central. There we go. You know, if you were going to ask me about Vitarian uh, asteroid kamikaze power, um, I would have said, yeah, we should not let that exist. Mm. But turns out we need it. Turns out you never know. Repurposed. Sometimes you kind of need a strategic asteroid fucking... Planet Cracker. <laughs> Step away from the reactor. You've ruined everything. I can't hear the whispers anymore. That's good. Turn around. Now you've taken them away from me. I will never see the Reaper's arrival. All you had to do was stay a step. Collision imminent. 
Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Warning. Collision imminent. Yep. Her brain was gone. Who cares what she had to say? It's nonsense. Joker, this is Shepard. I need a pickup now. Communication system damaged. Damn it! Evacuation protocols in effect. All personnel report to escape shuttles. Where can I find an escape shuttle? Take the lift from this room to the external access. From there, proceed to the communications tower. The remaining escape shuttles will be located on the tower's landing pad. I have to get to that comm tower and take a shuttle. It's my only chance. So that was weird, because there was a Paragon prompt first, right? Oh, I didn't see the Paragon one. There was a Paragon prompt, or at least... Um, there was a left side... No, well, some... Then it was a Renegade prompt on the left side of the screen? On, on the... Renegade was on the right, no? It was here, right? I didn't see the Paragon, personally. Okay, so this has happened before, and I only did the Renegade... I did the Renegade input, but because... Oh, the mouse move? It was the mouse. Oh my god, so this fu Okay, let me fucking stop this right away. Okay, that's why. So there was actually a Paragon? It was not. It was a Renegade prompt, but it appeared on the left side of the screen where the Paragon prompt would be, and I got confused by that more than once in the past. Okay. We can go back and check the tapes on it. I promise you, I've had that happen before. Right? Where I was like, wait, is that a Paragon prompt? And I press LT, but it's actually just Renegade. Let's see. You know? And then I, when I pressed, uh, when I, when I, uh, when I pressed LT, the controller took back over from the mouse, and then the, the prompt moved from the left over to the right, and then I pressed uh, Renegade. I see. So that's what happened. It was a very, and that, like, there was a couple times where I was like, wait, what is it asking me to do? That's a Paragon side prompt on the Renegade color. Okay. Super fucking weird. But you can you can you, you can go back and check that. Yeah. Okay. Damn. There we go. You saw that. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. The mouse is not fucking on though. So I don't know what the what, why that would still be doing that. All right. Uh, we're still on cryo, even through a loading screen. Okay. Cold doing work. Calm tower. Oh, multiple doors. Oh, there's shit to collect. This might be useful. <laughs> On the way out. In the middle of our daring Samus escape. This might be useful. I could use this! Oh, <gasps> uh, there's a wall safe at the end, maybe? Unless I was mistaken. Yeah. On the the right. Yeah. This thing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, more money, baby. Buy your way out. Just line those pockets a little bit, you know? Stroll. Survey data? Yeah! Look at this! Sure. A veritable boss fountain. Ooh, oh, we're moving. Ooh, we're moving. Oh, God damn it, and you idiots are still trying. I still think they got a chance, huh? Oh, their minds are still gone. Oh, that sucks. 
Oh no. Oh ho, ho. Damn, up against the glass. Oh shit! I haven't seen you in a minute. Big Ooh, we are we are this is a bayonetta fight. We are moving down through fucking space to a giant impact as we battle. That is sick. Ooh, watch your health. Yep. Boom. Nice. Collateral damage. What do you, what do you, what do you? What are you floating on? What are you even what? <laughs> Proximity is very close. Controls are right here. External comm channel open. Shepherd to Normandy. Joker, do you read me? God damn it. <gasps> Yo. Shepherd, you have become an annoyance. You fight against inevitability, dust struggling against cosmic winds. This seems a victory to you, a star system sacrificed, but even now, your greatest civilizations are doomed to fall. Your leaders will beg to serve us. Sovereign had better bars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I had to head to my... It's kind of weak, dude. Yo! <laughs> that's all you got? Really? Fucking... Damn, we just we just finished we just finished like getting hit by Eminem, and now we got to talk to Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Smoked him out of hip hop. <laughs> Left the genre. Couldn't couldn't take the heat. Damn, Harbinger. All right. Yes, people will die. Maybe we'll lose half the galaxy. Maybe more. But I'll do whatever it takes to rid the galaxy of the Reaper threat. However insignificant we might be, we will fight. We will sacrifice and we will find a way. That's what humans do. Know this as you die in vain. Your time will come. Your species will fall. Prepare yourselves for the arrival. This is some weak rap devil shit. <laughs> Fuck out of here, MGH. <laughs> so weak. <laughs> uh, prepare for the arrival, capital yeah. A. <laughs> Nothing. Check my pulse. It's normal. <laughs> it's fucking no stress. No stress whatsoever. Oh, nice boost. Yeah. Oh. You got boost power. A supernova, they said. To slavery. You didn't win. You didn't win. <laughs> oh, you humans ain't shit. <laughs> uh, 
Dragon Ball melts panel. Damn. That's a sick shot. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. That shot is crazy. <sighs> Cleaned up the area. Uh, looks like you've recovered. Hack it in person. Admiral Hackett. Sounds like you went through hell down there. How do you feel? Like I had to fun. shoot that hoe. No more visions, if that's what you mean. I wasn't expecting to see you here. You went out there as a favor to me. I decided to debrief you in person. That was before the mass relay exploded and destroyed an entire Batarian system. What the hell happened out there, Commander? Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, if you did this in the middle of the game, what's the fucking point? Like, nothing is even remotely close to that level of impact. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> oh my that god. That weird. Oh, wow. I hope Shepard never has to face uh, the sorrow. Uh, there's a there's a boss in a Metal Gear game where you have to face all the all the ones you've killed in a in a fucking endless stream. Oh wow! <laughs> Just the hauntings, man. Uh, that is that is crazy. Have you received any intel about what happened? All I know is I sent you out there to break Amanda Kenson out of prison. And now an, and entire, now an system entire system is, system is destroyed. <laughs> I hope you could fill in the leap of logic between those two events. <laughs> well, it's a complicated story, you see? <laughs> <laughs> what the frick happened? Uh, Shepard, you you know, all due respect, right? Like, I you're a good person. We've been through a lot. Uh-huh. So, like, you know, I I like the onus of an explanation is granted. Like, like I owe you that much, right? <laughs> so Stealth mission on your own. Sneak in, get my friend. Fast forward. <laughs> Would you believe me if I just said you're going to have to trust me on that one? Step A, step B. Step A, mm -hmm. step B. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Patrick, <laughs> step A, uh, right? B. I, yep. <laughs> oh man damn I did what I had to do oopsie daisy I had no choice you have the report I, I mean come on I confirmed Dr. Kenson's proof the reapers were coming and destroying that relay was the only way to stop them Kenson sedated me for almost two days I started the engines with little more than an hour left there was nothing else I could do. And you believe the Reaper invasion really was a threat? No doubt about it. We literally had minutes to spare. I'm sure all the details are in your report. I won't lie to you, Shepard. The Batarians will want blood, and there's just enough evidence for a witch hunt. And we don't want war with the Batarians, not with the Reapers at the galaxy's edge. What are you saying? You did what you did for the best of reasons, but there were more than 300,000 Batarians in that system. All dead. Oh. Not, not more? LOL Lamau? <laughs> <laughs> bottom, bottom, bottom left? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So... So, um, Batarians existing is, is, is a sign that somewhere around, somewhere is being, uh, enslaved and, or there's a threat to some 
type of freedom somewhere. However, right, the problem is that the status quo was what it was, and it was one where s slavery was being tolerated. Uh -huh. So when you wipe them out like that, now you create cause for escalation uh, and a change to the status quo. And that's not a good thing, right? Because, you know, we're supposed to just quietly tolerate the, the slavery status quo and, and, and just kind of, you know, leave it outside the Alliance's reach. Mm -hmm. What are they going to do? Get more slaves to fight their battles? I mean, shit. Like, it's not like on foot was making much difference. They died to save trillions of lives. If I could have saved them, you bet your ass I would have. You're preaching to the choir, Commander. If it were up to me, I'd give you a damn medal. Unfortunately, not everyone will see it that way. So what do you suggest? Evidence against you is shoddy at best. But at some point, you'll have to go to Earth and face the music. I can't stop it, but I can and will make them fight for it. Man, like of all the systems that could have been, like that relay could have been in, it had you to know, be that one. The tragedy of any race that it would have happened, but the Batarian. Yeah. <laughs> would be like, oh my god, what have you done? Uh, man. Well, I guess three hundred thousand can be filed under. Other living, actually, you living, you kind of freed them, or <laughs> other, <laughs> you kind of freed them in a Free. way. <laughs> I didn't expect to see you aboard a Cerberus vessel. I don't like Cerberus or the way they do things, but they brought you back to life, and they're actually doing something about the state of the galaxy. Besides, I'm not so sure this is a Cerberus ship anymore. Mm hmm Right? Is the Alliance concerned about the Batarians' response to this incident? Very. The Batarians have been looking for an excuse to wage war on us since we showed up in the galaxy. If the Reapers invade, we need the galaxy to work together. If we're at war with the Batarians, the other races will be hesitant to give aid to either side. Is the Alliance prepared for a Reaper invasion? That's hard to say. It took multiple fleets and the Destiny Ascension to bring Sovereign down, and that was just one Reaper. If the Reapers come in force, we're just not ready. All right. Um, let me talk to my homie. His name is Legion. He can talk to his homies. We call them the Geth. The Geth outnumber everyone and everything in this galaxy. We can have him bring in I don't know, let's say one to one every Batarian to a Geth and just have them handle the problem in the meantime while we take care of what matters. Sounds like a good idea. Right? How about I, that? I can ride with that. How about we just click on the, the fucking StarCraft command center that is the Geth and just be like, building, training, unit ready, training, unit ready, tra and we just one to one the entire Batarian problem while we business ourselves with what matters. Might need a virus. <laughs> I'll turn myself in. I appreciate the delay. They should be thanking me. I stop a Reaper invasion and they want to put me up on charges? It's not a matter of preference, Shepard. You'll be a convenient scapegoat for avoiding open war. Do whatever you have to do out here. But when Earth calls, you make sure you're there with your dress blues on, ready to take the hit. In the meantime, you keep this. I don't need to see a report to know you did the right thing. Yes, sir. You've done a hell of a thing, Commander. War hero slash criminal. It's it's I'll an LT or an RT. Hand, you know. Shit's complicated, bro. <laughs> Complex situations. Yeah. But 
the opposite end is an even bigger war crime. Is it not? If you're choosing between the size of the war crime you're trying to put yourself in, Ooh. why not choose the smaller one? The difference in magnitude. Okay. You know? Pretty tiny. And when you take it into perspective like that, pretty tiny. Small war crimes. <laughs> I mean... I don't know about you, but uh, when that hole appeared in time and space, you know what was inside of that absence? Uh, XP. And... <laughs> and a check mark on my to-do list that's in the journal. Dunzo. Mission complete. Does that say complete? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I don't think that you doesn't... get some experience for that. <laughs> Seems like a pretty definitive statement, does it not? Uh-huh. Yeah. How much is that? Twelve fifty. Quick maths. Right in the pockets. Quick maths. Three hundred thousand divided by twelve fifty. It's about two forty. Wow. Worth it. A pop? Worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can farm that. Damn. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I mean, is, is, uh, is it on discount? Like, is it my lucky day? That's crazy. <sighs> oh, boy. Dr. Amanda Kenson was rescued from Batarian prison on the planet Aratot, and Shepard confirmed her proof of a Reaper invasion. Shepard was captured by Karrison, who had been indoctrinated by a Reaper artifact. Shepard escaped and activated the project, destroying the Alpha Relay and ending the Reaper invasion. Dr. Kenson did not survive. The Bahak system and all its inhabitants were destroyed. Okay. Well, the Bahak system will live in the history books. Written by the winners. You what do we even mean? got some precious uh, palladium and easel. Damn. All that mining. All those rocks. We cracked it open. <laughs> we got 975 palladium. You know, what are we? A, a couple of rebreathers lost in the process. Eh, you know, all right. Okay. <laughs> I believe the term was uh, tolerable. Mm. Losses were uh, right. To to tolerable. Not bad. Hey, crew. How you doing? Yo, Morden. Wooly versus the algorithm. <laughs> <laughs>